Welcome to Godzilla's Kaiju Lounge. And today I want to talk about, well tonight really, I'm about ready for bed, but Godzilla 2014 and just my experience with the movie. Okay, I had found, heard rumblings in 2011 that they were planning another American Godzilla film. And my initial thought was, hope they don't mess it up. And I didn't think nothing of it. Time went on, I had actually forgot they planned. About, I actually had forgotten about that. About 2013, I start seeing rumblings on Facebook. And this movie's really getting made. I saw set photos. I'm sure the one everyone remembers of Brian Cranston and Alan Ta Aaron Taylor Johnson looking up at something, and I'm like, are they looking at Godzilla? And it just hit me. And at this point, I had a handful of films. I mean, I had the original. I had Godzilla vs. Mothra. Godzilla Raids Again. Final Wars, and that was it. So it lit enough of a fire. I started buying what movies were available. I always wanted the franchise, but it was always hard because not all films were available. Some because they were out of print was insanely overpriced. And I finally committed, you know, I'm going to start buying all the ones I can and roll the dice that the ones that aren't available will be. Following just what I can on the movie, looking for people on YouTube. I even got one of the people that saw the leaked test, tra not the official, but the test trailer with the voiceover from Oppenheimer put into it and... A brief look at Godzilla and I was blown away. This movie looked like, yeah, got us there. It was going to be really apocalyptic. Then the official trailer hit and it looked terrifying. It had this apocalyptic feel to it. I'm like, great, this is the type of Godzilla movie I want to see. Yeah, they weren't very forthright with us. I still like this movie, but the ad campaign was dishonest. But it just got me more hyped. And this is around the time I started following more people on YouTube, like GojiFan93. And the hype just kept building i started joining godzilla groups on facebook and it just kept getting more and more just the hype just kept building and i saw how much people really wanted to see this movie and it just went that way for months the last two months before the movie came out were such a slow crawl I just wanted the movie to get here. In fact, my mom hadn't been to the movie in years, and because she's the one that got me into Godzilla, I got a ticket for her as a Mother's Day present, even though it came out after Mother's Day. She'd never even seen a 3D movie before, so I figured it would be a nice treat, which it was. The movie came out, and... Although the movie we got was not the movie we were promised, I was not disappointed. I sat in the theater and I was excited. I was nervous. This was this was going to be potentially one of the most important. In fact, no potential. I knew this was going to be one of the most important Godzilla movies of all time because at this point... Outside of the fan base, Godzilla was looked on and laughed at, and I remember watching the movie nervous, excited, and just hoping 
they didn't drop the ball because of what this film had the potential to do for Godzilla's popularity. And you know what? Despite what you say about the film, it really didn't drop the ball. We got Shin Godzilla, Toho's planning their own cinematic universe, King of the Monsters coming out, and... Oh, I just wanted to hear already at the end of May, Godzilla vs. Kong, and none of that would have happened if this film wasn't successful. And I did see complaints, like people complaining there wasn't enough Godzilla, which, that's not a legitimate complaint, but as I was watching it, that didn't bother me, because I felt like when we did see Godzilla, it really felt like something. And I went to see the movie, and it's one that stuck with me throughout the summer. Unlike Infinity War, which I forgot about two weeks later, I was able to sit... I could recall the movie pretty well all summer until I got it on Blu-ray. I, would, I even got to think about how cool some of the shots were... And just the movie did stick with me like that. And subsequently, with by the end of 2014, I had then completed the Godzilla collection. Kraken filled in, releasing filled in some of the blanks. I had to pick up a couple through Sumo Gorilla. But, you know, I put it together. I got... All the films in one way, shape, or form, which is something that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for this movie. I even founded my own Godzilla group on Facebook, Godzilla Fans for Life. Check us out. And this movie, just all the hype around it, everything, there's just a lot of good memories connected to this movie and... Even like forming the Facebook group, which if this movie came out, I probably never would have done if it hadn't come out. So that's my experience with Godzilla 2014. It's not top 10 greatest Godzilla film material. It's kind of middling. It's 14 on my list, but it's still a good movie and it revitalized Godzilla. It gave Godzilla a shot of credibility that the franchise desperately needed. And, well, look at now. How close are we to King of the Monsters? And it looks like King of the Monsters, fingers crossed, is going to deliver the apocalyptic movie this promised to be. Again, still like it, but the ad campaign did lie to our faces. So, what are your thoughts? Like, share, comment, subscribe, over and out.